I've never seen this lady before in my life. She had never seen me either. But as I entered the door, she said to me, woman of God. And I look, I said, what's happening? I look, and I was like, wow. So I went in and I sit down. But on my way going to the doctor, I was walking, I'm just meditating, and God said to me, the great gathering we see here, the great gathering that is taking place, is for the body of Christ to rise up and to gather. It's for the body of Christ to rise up and to gather. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to gather those that still wrap in their mummy clothes. You know those mummy that they wrap and they lay there? They still have that dead clothes on, that grave clothes on. Hallelujah. And God has given us the mandate, glory to God, to lose those people. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And the lady said to me, you have a word for me? I said, a word for you. She said, do you have a word for me? I said, you know, on my way coming to the doctor's office, and I wasn't going to be here, but accidentally they gave me the wrong address, and I'm here. She said, but do you have a word for me? I said, well, on my way coming, the Lord gave me your word, said there's a great gathering taking place, and it's for the body of Christ to rise up, go out, and gather. Gather. She said, I receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. She said, I receive it in Jesus' name. But I step back and I'm there. And she said to me, I said, you know, we have the great gathering going on and I want to invite you to the great gathering. And I started giving her a few hints of the places that we have been for the World Revival Day. She said to me, I have been going into different countries and doing the same thing. Hallelujah. She said, I go to different countries and I share the gospel. But I mainly take care of the people that need food and clothes. But I know there's something within me telling me there's more to be done. She said, there's something in me telling me that I need to rise up and preach. She said, I've never preached before in my life, but something within me is not just to do what I'm doing. I still feel empty. I still feel dry. I need to rise up. I need to preach the word of God. She said, I need the power of God to preach. I want to preach. I'm sitting there. I said, Holy Spirit. I said, come into a company of prophets. You must prophesy. I said, when you come into a company of prophets, you turn into another man. You can never be the same anymore. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I said to her, how well or how bad do you need it? She said, I need it. I want to preach. I said, where are you from? Said, I'm from, I'm from um, the Philippines. I said, we were just here um, two and a half or two weeks ago. She says, oh, she says, one thing I'm going to ask you. She said, I have an earning, I have an hunger within me. And I want to go back to the, Phili the Philippines and put a tent. She said, I want to go back there with a tent. I'm talking about the doctor. This is the doctor. She turned the door and she didn't care who here. She just turned the door. Bless her. And we sit in there and she tell me what she wanted to but she said, most of all, I want the power of God on my life. She said, I want to feel the power of God. I said, are you ready? I said, are you ready? I said, you ready? She said, yes, I'm ready. In the name of Jesus, let her receive it. I release the power of God upon you right now. The doctor was on the floor. The doctor was on the floor. She didn't care. She come into a company of profit. And she was not going to change. She was not going to turn. Hallelujah. Because she needs She said, I need it. She said, I need it. She said, that's what I want to do. I want to lay hands. I want to preach. She said, I want to preach. 